Hi, my name is Jesse Breen, and I'm going to be showing you how to fix a minor hole in a boat. So we have a hole in a boat here. Now what needs to be done is you need to assess the damage for each individual boat by itself. Every blemish needs to be looked at by itself. What we need to do here for this hole is get rid of all the dead material that serves no purpose any longer. So simple little tools you're going to need to do this. Chisels and picks. Some sandpaper wouldn't hurt either. So what you want to do is you want to scuff all the way around your bonding surface. Give yourself about a half of an inch to an inch for the overlay structure to adhere. So you need to remove the paint. One thing you can do is take a higher grit sandpaper, 80, 120 grit works just fine, and get yourself a sanding block. A wedge or piece of plastic, anything that's straight and sturdy will work to do the job. And you sand until the paint disappears. So then after you've cleaned out your wound, the next thing you need to do is you need to fill the back side with some masking tape to ensure that your repair does not fall through. And then you need to sand around the bonding surface area and clean with acetone and make sure you have a dry working surface. So one of the things you can use to back this off would be a simple solution as masking tape. Just make sure you have a dry working area to ensure that it actually sticks. Another uh, technique would be saran wrap or anything that's going to cling. You could back it with a piece of cardboard, anything that you have available to make sure that your resin doesn't just seep through the backside. I'm just going to use masking tape. Back it off so I can fill it. Okay, so we're going to be filling that hole with some resin and fillers. Depending on the type of boat you have will depend on the type of resin you use. Whatever type of resin you use, you simply add some common fillers like Cabasil and Millifiber to strengthen the hole as well as change the uh, viscosity so that your glue doesn't just seep out and run out. So what you're looking for with your glue is about this consistency. It should be like toothpaste or creamy peanut butter. So now you take your glue and you apply it to the hole and you make sure you get a fair amount in there to ensure that it fills all the porousness and fibers. And then you're going to take a putty knife and you're going to trowel it in. And you want to go back and forth to ensure that it fills all of the wounds. So the next step, we're actually going to add our fiberglass and our carbon fiber material now. One thing you can do to ensure that you get a thorough wet out spot is that you pre-wet the surface of the bonding area and that ensures that the actual fiberglass and carbon will be resin rich all the way through and you get all the bonding properties that you're looking for. A brush and a little bit of resin is all you need for this.
and now I'm putting an overlay structure over my carbon fiber of just some fiberglass. This happens to be a 6 ounce. You could use any other. 4 ounce, 108 works as well. And this will ensure that when you do your, your filler work and your sanding that you protect the actual integrity of the carbon fiber fill. So after your resin has dried and you've allowed it to sit overnight and your overlay is cured, the next step is you're going to do your bondo work. And what you're going to need is a sanding block and sandpaper. And you're going to fair down all the edges and the border of this fill until it's flush to the rest of the boat. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're doing our Bondo work. You can use any type of Bondo. You can get Bondo from automotive stores or marine hobby stores as well. You take your Bondo and then you get your hardener and that's what's going to accelerate it and cause it to cure. The more hardener you put in, the faster it will cure. So a little bit goes a long way. So you take a putty knife, take your hardener and your Bondo and mix them together until you get an even color of consistency so that your actual Bondo turns into the color of your hardener. You shouldn't see any of the cream color of the Bondo anymore. It should look a consistent blue, red, or whatever color your hardener is. Next, you're going to actually apply your Bondo to your repair. So after your Bondo has dried, the next step is to go ahead and get some sandpaper and fair it down until it's smooth with the rest of the boat and you can't feel any more porousness. Okay, so these are some easy steps to fix a small repair in a boat. And if you follow these steps, you should be able to get your boat on the race course the very next day. Uh, if you have any questions, just call Pocock Racing Shows.